And with Florida and Georgia reopening comes concerns about an increase in coronavirus cases going forward. Right now, it's still too early to tell what, if any, impacts we'll see. ABC 27's Jada Williams live in Tallahassee for us tonight. And Jada, how long will it take to track those effects? Channing, days can turn into weeks when waiting to see how reopening is going to impact the COVID-19 positive test results. But it's a waiting game that some people say they don't mind playing. Week after week of isolation. For many, it's been a struggle. It's very frustrating, you know, having to stay home for a, such a very long period of time. Um, I never have done so in my life, you know, pretty much being a lockdown. But James Oyatunji says he's willing to spend a little more time away from crowds. I know um, some states, there um, have been a very high peak in activity by having um, programs and things resume back to normal. Cases peaking, a fear many have. I remember when it first started, it was spring break. In Miami, I'm from Miami, so in spring break, they, it got really spiked up down there. So I know it's the same thing at a mall or anywhere else. That fear has people eyeing the number of positive tests in Florida, waiting to see a spike, but it could take days or weeks before you even see the number. First, you have to be exposed. Something's going to happen within 2 to 14 days after exposure. Testing is becoming more readily available, but you still have to wait on those results. Tests done in Tallahassee are processed in Virginia, meaning you have to wait for the lab to receive your sample. Um, it takes about, about three to four days to get the results back for um, a positive or a negative result. So while it takes some time to see the effects of going out into a crowd, some say they would rather play it safe and stay inside. I feel like I'll be safe when the numbers start dropping and then people are actually getting better like as in like the cure will start you know testing is now recommended for everyone that's because some people could be carrying this the virus and be asymptomatic and possibly spreading it around now they are also still recommending that you wear your face mask when you're out in public and practice social distancing reporting live in tallahassee jada williams abc 27.